Hello, and welcome to Bard Lord's Declassified Loot Mod Survival Guide. With the new loot mod for Mordow nearing release, I've put together this little video to tell you everything you need to know to play your songs in-game with these new and improved features. First, download and unzip the loot mod archive. There are two folders in the archive that need to be extracted to different places in your Mordow install, and the default locations are found in the README file. The recent Mordow patch cleaned up the game's file structure quite a bit, so you may need to create some of these folders manually yourself to get Loot Mod in the right place now. Now start up Mordow and connect to a server running Loot Mod. You can also load Loot Mod on a local match by loading the Loot Mod map. Loot Mod will then remain loaded for any local matches using any map until you restart the game. Next, equip your loot. The scroll wheel should now load an emote menu with your available songs to choose from if Loot Mod is working properly. Press number one to refresh the index or pick some other number for the song you want to play. Then just press your kick button, which is F by default, to start or stop your song. You can form a band with other bards by hitting them with your loot and they will play any additional parts to your songs automatically when you start playing. You will hear a high-pitched note indicating they have joined your band, and if you hit them again, you will hear a low-pitched sound indicating they have left your band. There's a bug that will allow you to clone copies of yourself to form your own band if you don't have enough friends or maybe just like the feeling of playing with yourself. Disable damage with the toggle damage console command, then switch to spectator and your body will remain behind still standing. You can then respawn and switch to spectator again and repeat this process to get as many band members as you could possibly need. Now on to the main course, the loot mod MIDI converter. Start by loading your MIDI file with the button at the bottom left. There are options to do some transposing built into Loot Mod found up at the top here, but my recommendation is to always edit and check your MIDI's with another program like MIDI Editor first instead. When editing your MIDI, you are looking to keep the entire song within a four octave range between C2 and C6, and it is extremely helpful to be able to visualize the different parts and tracks for the next step. You should be able to bring your MIDI into Loot Mod this way and see no conversion needed, so you are able to just ignore all the transposition, note count, and conversion settings here entirely. Once your MIDI is loaded, you will see a column of instruments on the left with a column of tracks right next to it. Click Check All for the instruments, but select only the first track, then click Add Selection to New Track. You should now see your selections appear in the columns on the right. Then uncheck the first track, check the second track, and click Add Selection to New Track again. Repeat this until you have done all of your tracks. Once all of your tracks are added, name your song at the top right, then click Convert to Loot Mod Format at the bottom right, and your song should now appear in the Partition Index in the middle. Now refresh your index in the game, and you should be able to see your new song on the list. If you find that your song is not playing any notes, a lot of MIDI files have a track zero control track that has information that your other tracks will need to play. If you have this problem, just be sure to include track zero with all of your tracks and it will fix this. 
Sharing your songs has always been an important part of the bard community in Mordow. Instead of just sharing your MIDI files like you would with Lootbot, though, uh, you will want to share the .save files generated by the LootMod MIDI converter instead. Click the Open Partition Folder button below your list of songs in the Partition Index, right in the middle there, and you will find the .save files for all of your songs. If you have a big song with a lot of parts, it may span multiple save files. You will need to be sure to grab all of them. It is recommended to zip them up when sharing using a program like 7-Zip so none of your parts get lost or your song won't work right. To then import a song, you just click the Import Existing Partition button and select the save file for the song you are importing. Make sure to select all of the .save files here if your song has multiple by control clicking. The song will then appear in the partition index and should appear on your list in game when you refresh. Inevitably, if you play with Loot Mod a lot and are trying different midis all the time, you will end up corrupting your partition index and crashing your game at some point. Luckily, you can re-import your own songs using the same process. Just move your save files out of the partition folder, then delete your partition index file. Refresh the index in game again, and it will create a new index file for you. Then you import your save files again, and you're back up and running. There you have it. I hope you found this little tutorial useful and are able to get up and running quickly with LootMod. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment here or join us on the Bard's Guild Discord server where you can find additional help in our support channel. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time when I bring you Bard Lord Loot Master's Loot Masterclass, a more in-depth guide into editing your MIDI files so they sound the best they possibly can on the loot in Mordau. <laughs>